rock slides are a serious threat to mountain regions. The consequences can be fatal. Like four years ago when two people died in their car as they drove across the Gotthard Pass. Tests show how small the chances of surviving are when your car gets hit. In dangerous areas, the authorities try to limit the risks by installing wire nets. But these can only hold back a certain amount of mass. Only this October, a large chunk of rock came down in Graubünden between Tussis and Ander and completely destroyed the protection nets and avalanche barriers. The rock mass was an estimated 300 tons. The net's holding capacity was only half a ton. In a quarry above Lake Wallen, researchers together with protection net producers are testing a new system that should manage to hold back 16 tons. We want to find out what the net will look like after the crash. Will it still be stable enough to hold back further rocks? Often, it's not just one rock, but several coming down. A 16-ton concrete block is lifted up to 32 meters. Five, four, three, two, ice. It crashes into the net at 90 kilometers per hour. We're very happy with the test. The net stayed intact and the system worked. And we managed to do all our measurements and video recordings, which will later help us to evaluate the exercise. 16 tons is the maximum weight that current protection systems manage to hold. But the researchers are constantly working on new structures to increase their capacity. For some places, having nets is not enough to ensure safety. The village of Briens in Graubünden is situated underneath a large rocky slope. Here, a radar scans every inch of the rock face which is displayed on a 3D map. Fast-moving parts are marked in red. The local authorities started monitoring the mountain two years ago, after some chunks came down onto the road. Luckily, no one was hurt. These stretched roots are a clear indication that the rock here is moving at a fast speed. Otherwise, they would have rotted a long time ago. Every 12 hours, a laser device measures the gap in the mountain. Should it go over a certain limit, the system automatically sounds the alarm, early enough to close the roads and evacuate residents. These systems can help make landslides a little more predictable and limit casualties. Even so, a certain risk will always remain for mountain dwellers. 